Welcome back everybody to my channel and welcome if you are new here. I'm very excited that you're here. Um, we are going on to continue to unbox this massive haul that I've gotten um, and I'm really excited that everybody's here to join me in doing so. Um, so uh, we're going to continue on. I am um, I do still have some things that are pre, uh, like pre unwrapped, and uh, we're just going to continue on, and hopefully we're going to get through a lot more stuff today, and uh, so we'll just kind of keep on moving. So now, if you uh, enjoy my content, if you like the types of videos that I do, if you like the pieces that you have seen so far, I really do hope that you will subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is always free. And uh, don't forget, we do lives twice a week. We do lives on Thursdays, and that is all vintage jewelry all the time. And then I do clearance lives. That is a mix of everything usually on Saturdays. And um, and the clearance lives, everything starts at two dollars. So I do hope that you will join us for that. Um, so definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and uh, you will definitely not miss any time that I upload a video or that I am live. So um, if you like any of the pieces in this video, everything is for sale. And uh, I will go ahead and give prices as we go along. And uh, all I need from you is to go ahead and email me or text me. And uh, instructions are in the description. And I will be sho also showing you a little graphic here shortly. And you can definitely screenshot that as well. But I just need the uh, description and the timestamp and the price of what you are interested in. And then I will go ahead and send you an invoice. Now I will send you an invoice via P PayPal, but I can do um, things also through my website, which is on Shopify. So um, please go ahead and screenshot that now. And uh, then we'll move on with the jewelry. All right, thanks. We'll see you in just a couple seconds. Okay, yay, we're back. Um, okay, the first thing that we have here looks like a little crystal um, bracelet here, and it does have one of those little things that kind of make it shorter or longer. And these are all crystals. We've got an opaque kind of uh, AB, almost like AB coated crystal, and then a red, and then clear, and the red also has kind of an AB coating. Very, very pretty, very cute. And uh, we're going to say $3 on that one. Uh, then I also have one of these really kind of big ball <laughs> stretch bracelets. And we'll say 3 on that as well. Now, I love this bracelet. I had one of these when I was probably in high school. I think I got it from my mom. I'd say this is very like 1970s-ish. Um, I... You know, I was super into vintage way back then too. So, I mean, not like I went to high school in the 70s. I'm old, but I'm not quite that old. Um, so, uh, um, not that that's old, I guess. Um, but I think this is super cool. I love this like mesh buckled bracelet. It is super, super cool. And this piece here, um, you can adjust, of course, to however, but this is just so much fun. Um, I, I think this is 70s. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe this is a little bit earlier. It could be late 60s, but I think this is 1970s. And I'm going to say $10 for this. This is just so cool, and it is in such good condition. A little bit of wear on the gold, but really, it looks quite good. Um, so, all right, I'm going to go ahead and set that down. Um, and then I have this. This is a bangle. It is in a little rough condition. Um, maybe I, if anybody likes it, I'll say $2, but otherwise I'm going to put it in craft. All right. Next, we'll move on. Um, this is, uh, looks like it's a Liz Claiborne. Really pretty piece. I love all of the leather. Um, multi leather or multi strand all in leather cord plus the little silver disc that is the pendant it is a little scratched up very y2k though and uh let us get a measurement on this it is a let's see 
probably 16 inches. They're all 16 inches, right? Um, uh, actually, it is more like 15, and then it does have the extender. Um, so it does have this kind of like a double extension. And this is a magnet also. So it's kind of cool. So the shortest it can be is about 15-ish inches. Um, and then you'll have to figure out this kind of weird clasp situation, but it's pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna say $8 on the Liz Claiborne. Um, these are kind of cool hoop earrings. I definitely like these. So they de definitely have this like little jewel thing that hangs off. The jewels are plastic, yeah. But these are cool little hoops. I like that. They're definitely fun little gold hoops. Um, and not marked at all. These are fun though. I'm gonna say $5 on those. Well, here is another compact. I had a couple in the last video. Um, compact, just a double mirror. Um, looks a little bit on the newer side. So I'm going to say, uh, we'll say eight on the compact. Here is, ooh, here's a ring. Ooh, look at that ring. That is cool. Vintage cameo style ring. Um, this is like a resin type of cameo. Um, oh, that is really cool. So it looks like it's a woman looking in a compact. Cool hat on her. It is adjustable. And the gold is wearing off a bit, but it's extremely unique. I'm going to say 10 for the ring. It's just so unique. You're not going to find that anywhere else. Um, here we have a stretchy... Uh, bracelet. Oh, it says Walt Disney collection. Stainless steel. Stretchy bracelet. Um, let's say $8 on that one. It's Disney, so it could be collectible. I don't know. Maybe that's not a good price. I don't know. You'll have to tell me in the comments. Um, here's another very 70s piece. Really cool. Um, spring ring class. I love, love, love this pendant. Look how cool this pendant is. How fun. How fun is that? Love this. Let's see how long it is. This is... Um, the necklace itself is 24 inches. And then the pendant is another three inches long. So that's three inches. The necklace is 24 or a 12 inch drop. That is really, really cool. Um, a few scratches on there, um, but super, super cool. I'm gonna say 10 on that piece. Here we have a little wooden stretch bracelet with a little kind of brass charm or something that would come off of it. Very cute. Um, we'll say a three on that. Here is a dyed bead bra or necklace. I think this is some kind of natural, maybe a wood or something. It's not plastic. Um, I'm not sure. It might be plastic, I guess. It could be. It's pretty cool looking. Very lightweight. It just, it feels not quite like plastic because it doesn't have the quite the same, I don't know, texture or whatever. It's, it's not as smooth as plastic is. It feels more almost like it's a wood, but it's also not as heavy as wood. So I'm not real sure what this is. It's cool, whatever this material is. And I love the, that kind of like 
dye job on there or whatever, the paint job on it, whatever you want to call that. It's cool. Super cool. Um, and it is 24 inches long and we'll say $5 on that. I like that a lot. Um, here is a mixed metal stretch bracelet. That's really cool. I like that. Um, let's see. Good size on it too. And uh, I'm gonna say, uh, we'll say $6 on that. Here is another, oh, this is a cool bracelet. This is a bracelet. It's got a little flowers. I like that little faceted glass over the flower there. And then it's got some kind of something over it. I think that can come off. It's missing the stone though, this one. And then these little like flowers here. I'm not really sure. I'd have to see if I could work on this one. I don't know. We'll say three on this and then I'm not really sure as is. Three as is on that one. Here we have another very wide 2 k piece with the suede cord. Cool silver pendant on that. Um, this, oh, this is Leah Sophia. Very cool piece. Leah Sophia's got nice stuff. Very nice stuff. Um, I think it's Y2K, but it's Leah Sophia, so I don't know. How long has Leah Sophia been around? I'm not sure. Um, about 16 inches. Um, I'm going to say $10 on that since it is a Leo Sophia. Um, here we've got a little bracelet. Um, love, mother, forever. Um, I'm going to say three on that one. Um, here is another one of these necklaces that it's a double strand with the abalone. And then it comes up to a suede cord. Oh no, this is a rope cord. And then the um, the lobster claw clasp. But it's got the double strand with the abalone shell. This is quite pretty. This is a cool abalone right there. Like that. Um, the length on this one is uh, 22 inches for the shortest strand. Um, that's pretty cool. Very pretty. And uh, we'll say um, we'll say eight on this piece. That's that's pretty, very pretty piece. Um, and then we have ooh, uh, this is one of those neck wires. NY. So I'm not sure if that's New York and Company or what little moon glow kind of thing. And then in the silver tone, I'm gonna to say just three on that one. Oh, here we got a vintage brooch, missing a pearl though. So that'll go in craft um, or to be repaired. And we have a strand of pearls, very pretty. And this is 16 inches. And um, we'll say $5 on that. These are faceted black, almost like a hematite bead, but these are plastic on a stretchy cord. And we'll say three on that one. Oh, this is a cool brooch. Um, very like steampunk looking. And I love these keys, all these keys on here. Really awesome. Um, kind of have to make sure that they're turned correctly, but yeah, very, very cool. All these keys. There we go. Yeah, all these are so cool. And uh, this is a Jan Michaels San Francisco brooch. Um, Jan Michaels is um, pretty well known. Um, uh, their stuff is a little bit more pricey and uh, I it's kind of like a more modern almost like a more modern JJ type of thing or more 
modern uh, Kirk's Folly kind of um, maker. Um, stuff is very steampunk looking, um, really cool pieces. Um, I'm going to say 18 on this brooch. This is a really cool piece. So 18 on the Jan Michaels. Ooh, this is nice. So we have um, all natural stones on this. Let's see if any of these test as like very high. So we have quartz. There we go, that's what I was wondering. Okay, so this one here is jade. And then that's there is jade. And then that is jade. So we got three jades in a row. Quartz. 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 We already know that one's going to be quartz. Very much so jade. Those are quartz still. Yeah. Yep. So we've got jade and quartz. And these are high, testing very high on the jade scale. So very, very, very pretty, pretty piece. I really, really like this. Um, very gorgeous bracelet. It is stretchy. Um, really nice piece. And, uh, we're going to say, uh, let's see, I wonder if that's silver. I don't see any marks on this, but it doesn't mean that it's not. Um, I'm going to say for this piece, uh, we're going to say, uh, we're going to say 12 on this bracelet. Okay. Next I have this bracelet. This piece here, this is a gorgeous um, little uh, brooch. It is more modern, of course. You can tell it's more modern, um, but it is still really nice. It does look like it might be chipped. Uh, no, I don't know that that's a chip. It just looks like that might be a mar in the glass. I can't really tell. Um, but this is really quite pretty. Um, I'm going to say, uh, we'll say We'll say six dollars on that one. Okay, here we have. Oh, this is pretty. So this has a barrel clasp, and then these really pretty stones here. Um, let's see. These stones are, I don't think they're anything. Yeah, they just go up into the quartz area, but these are really pretty. And it has a barrel clasp and it's quite nice. Let's see here. This has a total length of 22 inches. Um, gorgeous. I'm gonna say $8 on that. That's kind of fun. Um, it's that like really lightweight wooden bead flower bracelet. Um, we're gonna say three on that. Here is one of those little buckle bracelets. Um, and it's got the little pearls there. And I am, I don't say maker or anything. I'm gonna say three on that one. Oh, here we go. Away. All right, these are pretty little clip on earrings. These are marked. Uh, don't remember what these are marked though. And let me get my handy dandy little loop out. They are marked Napier. Patent pending. So these are Napier 
Ooh, Napier uh, stud style clip earrings. And it's also Mark Napier down there. These are really pretty. Um, I like the little texture on there. So we're gonna say eight on the Napiers. Here is a nice little set. Um, it's two dress clips and a brooch. And uh, I am gonna do this as a set. This is more modern. As you can see, this is the, the pin back on the brooch. Um, and then here's the dress clip. I believe this is more modern. This is awfully shiny. These are plastic. I really think this is modern and just like a knockoff of like an old style art deco, but this is so pretty. Um, and I'm gonna say $12 for this entire set. It's gorgeous. Okay, I love, I love black faceted glass. Here we have a black faceted glass necklace. These are, this is actually seems like it could be check glass. Um, not a hundred percent. Let me just check really quick. Yeah, it's definitely glass. Um, the facets aren't real, um, they're not real strong, like they're almost curved. So they're the, this is very old, I would say, because the facets are very, are very like curved almost. They're not very strong and not really deep. And I would say this is probably almost a check glass because of that. And then it's uh, got a barrel clasp. So I would say this is older and all the same size. It's got seed beads in between all of these. And um, I was gonna measurement on this. It is, I love these necklaces. These are great. These are great necklaces. Um, it's uh, 32 inches long. So really pretty, pretty, pretty necklace. Um, and I'm gonna say 12 on that one. Really nice, 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 nice necklace. Um, let's see here. Okay, here we have, oh, that's pretty. A really pretty little cuff bracelet. Do not see any markings on this. And it's got a flower with a green stone in the center. I'm gonna say, um, I'll say three on that one. Here we have a, one of those um, like floating style necklaces as well with a big enameled and silver pendant. This is also NY, so I think that's New York and Company. I mean, definitely correct me if I'm wrong but I am pretty sure that is who that is. And um, this is about, uh, it's about 16 inches. It does have an extender, um, really pretty. I'm gonna say $8 for that. Um, here we have a, uh, Boy, what is this? I think this is, oh yeah, here we go. So it's one of those necklaces that you can pull to, it's got that like nice little knot and you can pull it to make it longer and then tighten it to make it shorter. And then it has the little lotus pendant. Um, and it's just on a multi-strand little twine or rope cord. Um, and I love the little lotus pendant. Lotus, which represents like rebirth and, um, you know, kind of coming forward off out of, um, you know, uh, if you've had like a rough time or, you know, coming, you know, and then kind of like blossoming out of, 
you know, a, a, a difficult period. And I only know this because I have a large tattoo of a lotus on the back of my neck. And I love lotuses and I love what they represent. So I like this necklace. It's a great one. So that is a little lotus pendant and we'll say $3 for that one. Um, here is a little stretchy. It could be a little double bracelet. It could be a necklace. Got a lot of different <laughs> options with this one. And we'll just say $3 for this little piece. I like that. That's kind of cute. All right. Next. Ooh. Ooh, look at that ring. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, I'm in love with this. Look at that. It's got like black, I think black rhinestones all the way around. And then this like deep, it's almost like throwing off like a blue, almost like a blue gold stone, almost faceted stone in the center. Um, it's copper. No, it's like a brass. I don't see any marks on this. Like a maker's mark or anything on the inside. Man, that's cool. Oh, maybe, hold on, maybe there is. Maybe, but I don't think so. Oh, there is, it's a Lucky Brand ring. Wow, I didn't know that they did rings that were this cool. It's a Lucky Brand ring. Huh. It is a size maybe six and a half, I would say. Let me see if it fits me. No, it fits me, so I bet you it's closer to a seven. Um, This is, oops, this is so cool. So cool, look at that. I am not positive what Lucky Brand runs, but I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say, this is a nice ring. This is really nice. I would imagine, oh yeah, there's a big old Lucky Brand right there. I don't know how I missed it. Um, I'm gonna say 18 on this ring. I would imagine that that's gotta be right. 18 on this one. Okay, next I have this little seed bead bracelet. It's one of those little ones on wire. Um, and we're gonna say four for that one. Um, here we have a kind of a scratched up um, stretchy bracelet. I think I'm just gonna put this one in craft. It's pretty scratched up. So we're just gonna set that one aside. Okay, we have a brooch, and it looks like this is marked, but it's cute. It's a little cherub, and it's got a little rhinestone heart, and then he's got a harp, and let's see, this is marked, I believe. It's a Premier Designs brooch, um, and we're going to say five on that one. More earrings that it matches. All right, um, we have a little pearl and um, AB blue, baby blue stone uh, or crystal bracelet, and we're gonna say three on that. Oops. Um, here we have. Oh, got another cool ring. Let's find that one can get this necklace untangled from it. It's like wedged in there. There we go. All right, so this is cool. So we have like a citrine stone in the center with some more like topaz around the edges. And then it's got like the typical like West German type of design, although it almost makes me feel like it might be a little bit more modern, although I'm not positive. 
Um, this can be adjusted. So we're gonna adjust this open a little bit more. Make it closer to my size. Okay. There we go. Oh, so cool. Look at that. That's a really cool piece. I love this kind of West German look. It's got that kind of a brass look. And I like the braided shank and it's open in the back. Well, angel hair there. Um, super pretty ring. And I'm gonna say 12 on this one. 12 for, I'm gonna call this the West German ring because that is the style that it's in. It's not marked West Germany. And it's not marked Czechoslovakia. That is another style that's very similar to this. This is very pretty, very pretty. Um, we have some little plastic bead and pearl earrings. We'll say two on those. Um, oh, it's a pretty little glass ring. I like these little glass rings. This is a size five and a uh, real pretty little glass ring. We're, we'll say $3 on that one. Um, here is the little necklace that I was trying to undo. And this does have kind of a one of those older odd clasps that just kind of um, you pinch it to clasp it. And it doesn't have a mark or anything on it. But this is cool. It's got the little crown. That's the pendant portion. And then it comes up like that. Super cool, gold tone, no marks on it. Um, let's get a measurement. Um, seems like it might be a little bit longer, but maybe not. Let's see. Uh, maybe 17 inches with the crown in there. Um, wow, that is very, very, very pretty. And I'm gonna say 12 on that one because that is just really unique, very unique. And here we have a little starfish brooch. This is more modern. Let's get it so we're not gonna stab ourselves. That would be tragic. Um, cool little pearl starfish brooch. I'm gonna say five on that one. Um, oh, if anybody is from Ohio and would like a ring, a little adjustable ring, uh, we have this little Ohio ring for $2. Um, here is a little metal USA ring, and it is a size seven and three quarters. This is actually kind of cute. <coughs> <clears throat> Although it fits me pretty good. So maybe it would be closer to a size seven. I don't know why I would measure that on there. Um, unless my fingers could be like really swollen right now. I don't know. Um, so uh, we'll say $2 on the USA ring. <clears throat> oh, this, oh, it's like a disco ball ring. How cool is this? It is adjustable and... How freaking cool is that? Oh my God, I love this. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so much fun. Oh my God, that's so much fun. Now it does kind of have like, a, not the best shank in the world, but I mean, you really don't mind because you don't want that to be the focus. You want this crystal to be the focus and this crystal is everything this is everything oh my god that's amazing um i'm gonna say eight dollars on this this is so cool oh i love that i just love that and here is another ring look at this one this is definitely a little bit more modern it is adjustable a little kind of fun i'm gonna say six dollars on this one we've got black rhinestones all the way around black cabochon super fun and here we have a necklace it is a black cross with ab stones this is actually kind of cool it is um on a cord 
and it can be adjusted. It's just tied, or you can just take this off and put it on a necklace, which is almost what I would do. Um, I think it would be cooler on a chain or like a black chain or black, something black, like shorter. Um, I mean, this is, I mean, it's all tied up, but I mean, this cord is, I don't know, probably 20 some inches, 24 inches or something. It's all tied in, in a mess right now, but yeah, it's 26 inches, but really that's the pendant that's what's cool. And I'm gonna say the pendant's gonna be $6. Um, that's another, another little ring. That's kind of cute. It's like a little ceramic uh, bird, uh, like lithograph bird. It's adjustable also. We'll say $3 on that one. Um, kind of hit the ring jackpot with this little scoop. Right. Here we have a really pretty pendant necklace. Look at that. So this is one of those faux kind of abalone style pieces. That is really pretty. I like that little moon glow on top, silver tone, double silver chain. This is really gorgeous. Um, no marks, of course, no marks on this. And uh, I'm assuming it's probably 16 inches at the shortest. And I am, I'm right, about 16 inches. It's got a nice long extender too. Um, I'm gonna say uh, ten. Eight, uh, I'm gonna say eight dollars on this one. It's pretty. It's very pretty. And that is the back. Um, here we have a little fairy with the little bottle with the sand in it, and then the chain, long chain. There is. Uh, there, oh, there is a clasp on here. Um, so that's cute. Those are cute. I don't, I don't remember. I used to think those represented something and I can't remember what. Like, I feel like I remember these from like a long time ago. Um, 24 inches on this. I'm gonna say $5. Um, just a cute little fairy bottle. $5 on that. Um, here we got another neck or another ring. This is all rhinestones in the front. It is like a very light gold tone and um, size seven. So nice little size seven ring. Um, very cute. We'll say five on that. And here we have, yeah, it's a little messed up, but it's a little plastic or celluloid type. I think it's, I think it's plastic. Very lightweight plastic though. And then it's got leaves, but I mean, definitely they've seen better days. I feel like somebody probably washed their hands a few times with the ring on. Um, and, you know, it bleached out and then it's got that on the side. I mean, I almost want to throw it right in craft, but I mean, if anybody wants it for like $2, let me know. All right, now this, ooh, that's nice. Now this really is old. This is an old dress clip. That's nice. It is missing a couple stones. That's really nice. That's really nice. That's an old gold, you don't see the gold tone very often. Old gold tone dress clip. It is missing a couple stones. Um, very Art Deco. Um, I'm gonna say 15 on this as is, um, even though it's missing the stones, 15 on this one. Um, otherwise, I might try to repair it and put it on eBay. This is cute, cute little brooch. Um, I'll say five on that one. 
been, uh, I don't know. It's, I don't even know we're putting that in craft. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, then this fell in love with this. This is gorgeous. I did have to do some research on it. It's got a C clasp that is, you know, a little loose, very old. This is probably Victorian. This is, um, this is definitely in the probably Austrian, um, Austrian made or, you know, the Bohemian realm. This is glass. It's a glass cabochon. It has the filigree work, and this is all little tiny rhinestones. This is what you would call a bohemian piece. This is absolutely, so this could be Czech, this could be Austrian. It's definitely like the bohemian style. Um, I love this piece. This dates most likely to, I would say the late 1800s could be early, early 1900s. This is absolutely stunning. It is a tiny little brooch. And I am going to say $25 for this one. This is, it's tiny, but it is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. I'm going to actually set it off to the side. Um... Okay, as we move on, actually got some really nice older pieces in here too. This is another older piece. This is a um, older repoussé piece, and it's got the three women. These are this is definitely like a Greek scene. Um, I can't remember the name of these three women. Um, but this is a repoussé style, which is um, kind of like how the metal has been pressed. And that is the back of it. So it's done in two layers. You can see this, um, the two layers. This is the, the layer here. And then the back layer is the flowers. It blends so beautifully. Like you can hardly tell from the front that it is in two layers. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, so on this piece... Uh, I don't, I'm going to say 30 on this piece right here. This is beautiful, 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 beautiful. Actually, this one's going to go over here too. Here is a very old Coro, uh, gold plated, kind of a twisted leaf design. And I'm going to say eight on that one. Here is a Monet, kind of like a Jelly Belly. This is, um, I mean, Jelly Bellies were really more like the 1930s, but it's kind of a take on a Jelly Belly style. And it's a toucan, toucan with a pearl Jelly Belly, super cute. Um, and I'm gonna say eight on that one as well. Here is a, another ring. It's got one of those little stretchy bands in the back but really fun. Um, you could definitely, you know, definitely be a really big, um, uh, like cocktail ring or something. My fingers are maybe not quite as long as, you know, they need to be to make this work. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Um, super fun. I'm gonna say $5 on this. It's kind of cute. Um, here we have another, this one's plastic, but really kind of fun, a little daisy. And uh, this is a size eight, super cute. I'm gonna say three on that ring. And I have another compact. This one is monogrammed. It is monogrammed AEB. And um, it does have the powder and the mirror there. This one's really pretty. Um, I'm gonna say 12 on this compact. Okay. Here's a 
another ring. Uh, this one was copper with the black enamel. It, it is kind of coming off on the front, although in the back here, I guess. I kind of like that look though myself, um, but I know that that is kind of not what's supposed to be happening. This is a size six. If anybody does like this, I'll say $5 on this just because of the wear. But to me, I think that wear gives it character. But I do understand that is not how it's supposed to be. Um, here is a pair of, this is a plastic um, type of earring. Um, I, I feel like this is more like a lucite, but it's because of that color, because of that kind of moon glow look. So cute. I'm going to say three on those earrings. Uh, I am going to put that in craft. Here's another one of those really fun rings. This is also adjustable. Um, you need kind of tiny fingers. You can definitely adjust it, but you only can go too far with this one. This I just love those. I love this, this rhinestone. Um, let's see, how far can we ream this out? I don't know. I mean, right now this is sitting at a size five and a half. Um, oh, can I go get it out to a seven? Oh, I did, almost. Almost out to a seven, let's see. Almost, not quite, it fell back. Could probably play with it a little bit to get it there, but oh, look how cute that is. I love it, I love it. Um, I'm gonna say eight for that ring too. Um, here we have one of these bib style necklaces. One of these bib style necklaces with the rhinestones. This one is super long. Um, you can definitely shorten this up, but look at that. That's just so much fun. And the chain is just like hella long though. Um, and it's, I guess that's supposed to be, which is weird. Um, it is uh, 28. All total, it ends up being about 30 inches long at the shortest length, but I mean, I don't know. It's interesting that it's that long, but it's kind of fun. Almost like, it'd be kind of fun to like layer with this and have this be the bottom layer. I don't know, it'd be kind of fun. So um, I'm gonna say uh, 10 on that one because those rhinestones are cool. Here we have a fun little flamingo brooch. Uh, unsigned, cute little flamingo, and I'm going to say five for him. And then I have, oops. Okay. This is going to be a, basically a double strand um, brass necklace, 40 inches long. Um, so this is kind of cool. So it's brass, single strand, and it goes into this big, huge chunkiness, and then it branches off to this double strand all the way around. So I like how it just has this like different, different types of chains. Um, can definitely do a lot with this. It's a really cool necklace. I'm going to say eight for this one. It's kind of a fun piece. Here we have, oh, so darn cute. So we have a little fairy brooch and they are, uh, they've got little wings that are enameled. They're holding a little star or flower or something that's all rhinestones and um, super cute. It was probably a little bit more modern um, or newer cause it's got that type of back with the um, little striations there. Um, I'm going to say, uh, I'll say $5 on that one too. Um, be nice to find that match to that. Oh, is that it? No, that's not it. All right. I 
have some plaid button earrings. We'll say $2 on those. I have some dangle earrings here that are kind of like a mother faceted mother of pearl on brass and we'll say two on those here's a little um bracelet with elephants this actually looks sort of small it's got a measurement on this one it looks tiny it is it's six and a quarter inches so Anybody who's got small little wrists, this is cute. So six and a quarter inches. Um, we'll say uh, this is uh, going to be five dollars. Okay. Next, I have this is kind of a cool necklace great colors in this this is 22 inches long look at that pendant um i like the black with the blue the little light blue and then it goes right up into these crystals that just match it perfect it is 22 inches long it has a toggle clasp um but just really fun just really fun and i'm going to say ten dollars on this one We just have a, a gold band here and um, the measurement on it is about a five and a half. We'll say three on this one. Oh, that's pretty. That is a little enamel and then marcasite piece of uh, newer. And I'm gonna say, uh, we'll say for this one, we're gonna say, uh, we'll say eight on that one. That's a really nice piece. Um, here's some little clear glass Earrings, we'll say um, two on those. And then same with these little black ones, we'll say two on those. Um, these are kind of interesting. Here, these are little black earrings. They, they come down, they've got these little rhinestones that come off of them. It's kind of fun. Those are kind of fun. And uh, they're pierced. I kind of like those, actually. I'm going to say, um, we'll say five on those. Those are really kind of cool. Okay, this is pretty, too. So these are glass beads. And they've got, like, the little controlled bubbles in there. They're gray. There's like It's like a clear grayish black bead. And then we've got some silver and then some kind of like almost like a faceted glass. It's on a black wire and then it goes up to the silver toggle. Very interesting, kind of a different type of necklace. And it's 18 inches long. I'm gonna say $8 on that one. Um, all right, we have a black fancy, this is actually kind of cool. Um, this is all glass bead plus these little rhinestone here. This is a stretchy bracelet. I'm going to say $10 on this one. That's actually super nice and very, very, very well made. Like very well made. This is really quite nice. Put that on. That's gorgeous. To be honest, that's really gorgeous. So 10 on that one. All right have another compact. This one is not signed or anything or not, you know, engraved. It looks like the mirror is come off that can be replaced. Although it's kind of got some messiness there. It does still have like a perfect blush though. Um, and it's Harriet Hubbard Ayer or Ayer. Um, that's kind of a cool compact. 
little bit of damage to it. I'm gonna say $10 because of the damage. Um, we have a blue um, bangle, kind of a fabric, satiny fabric bangle. I'm gonna say three on that. And another, this is cool, another compact. Majestic little powder compact. I don't, know if this is. I don't know. I don't know if that opens or not. Um, so I'm going to say, uh, we'll say 10 on that compact as well. Oh boy, remember these? Oh, little ribbon uh, velvet chokers. I think I had one of these in high school. I wore all the time. Um, I'm going to say five on this. This is cool. I love the rhinestone. So five on that. All right. So here we have some yellow earrings, bright yellow earrings. Those are kind of fun with the tassels. We'll say five on those. Um, got a two-tone pendant. I'm gonna say three. I don't even know. It is a, a dollar with that. I've heard that you can't sell these because of the dollar and that it's you know, the money that you can't, I don't know, something like that. So I'm going to actually just put this off to the side. It's just kind of odd. Um, let's see if we got any earring matches here. Oh, we got a pair of copper earrings here. Those are pretty. We're going to say three on the copper earrings. Here we have another glass ring. That's pretty. I like the gold with the silver, or the orange with the silver. This is a size like eight and a quarter. That's pretty. We're gonna say five on that glass ring. Here we have um, a pearl um, bracelet, and this is, it says M. What does M stand for? I don't know. I like this though, it's pearl, and then you've got these rhinestone beads. This is fun, 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 fun. Look at that on, super cool. Jazz of anything with that. Um, but I do not know what M stands for in this case. Um, I'm gonna say $8 on that though, that's really kind of cool. Got some wild hoops. Those are kind of fun. Very, uh, very summery though, but really cool hoops. I like these. I'm gonna say five on those hoops. Oh, I got some dream catcher earrings here. These are awesome. I like these a lot. Dream catcher earrings. We'll say five. Ooh, we got a peace sign ring adjustable. We'll say uh, $3 on that. Oh, I think this might match that crown necklace. Um, but here's some crown earrings. These are really cute. And uh, I'm gonna say, uh, we'll say $10 on the crown earrings. I love these. I love these, and crowns are really hot right now. 10 on the crown earrings. Um, here we have, this is, this is actually an Avon necklace, believe it or not. This is a, this is glass, like almost like a beach glass or something. And then we've got some brass, and some carved, I think that's plastic, and then glass, really cute glass beads. And then this is all like rope, 
super cute. Gosh, this is cute. And then we're looking at 16, uh, let's see, let me look again. Yeah, we're looking at about 16 inches and then you've got an extender. Um, this is Avon. I still can't get over that. We'll say $8 on that. That's really different. Here's a fun little bracelet, although it's got like, I think it's missing, is it missing a, I think it's missing a strand, which is too bad. Um, I'm gonna put this in craft, it's missing a strand. Darn it. Ooh, this is cool. It's got some wear to it on the clasp. It is a, it's a sign. Karen something. This is really cool. Maybe I'm gonna just do a little research on this one really quick. Okay, so this is, it's not Karen, it's Kareen, and it's Kareen Sultan. And um, so this is probably silver plated, according to her website silver plated and um her pieces are very high end and um i'm gonna say this necklace um it could definitely use some polishing i am more than willing to polish it um you just need to let me know if that's what you would like me to do um i don't normally polish unless you ask um but it's uh Kareen Sultan, you can definitely look her up, K-A-R-I-N-E, and then S-U-L-T-A-N. Um, I'm going to ask uh, $20 on this, only because there is some wear on it. $20 on this necklace. It is really, really pretty. Um, her pieces are extremely high-end, but because of the wear on this, I'm going to say 20 um, This is 16 inches long. Gorgeous piece. Absolutely gorgeous piece. Um, okay, just a few more pieces and then I uh, will call it for this video. All right. Okay, here we have, this is a pretty brooch. There is some uh, discoloration to some of the stones on this, but this is vintage. Um, really pretty, um, but it's too bad about the discoloration. I'm going to say $5 on that. Um, brooch here. Here is a little wreath. This is really pretty. Um, it does have a little stamp on there, but I'm not really sure what that is. Um, I'm going to say three on this little wreath. Little earrings. Um, Did I do this one already? No, but that's not really, there's no clasp on that, so that's gonna go in craft. Um, so this is different for sure. This is stretchy. It's got pearls and then this little rhinestone on one side. And then it's got these little like um, things on, dangways on the other. It is, oh, it's Betsy Johnson. Interesting, this is a Betsy Johnson piece. Um, interesting. I'm gonna say 10 on this Betsy Johnson piece. It's cute, very cute. Interesting. 
It's a very interesting look for a Betsy, Betsy Johnson piece. Um, so we'll just say 10 on that one. And then this is really pretty. So this is a pendant, um, really pretty like amber glass. And then, um, I'm assuming that's amber glass, right? Yeah, amber glass and then the rhinestones and then really pretty, whoops, really pretty um, emboss. And then this does say N-A-T. Um, oh, what am I doing? Uh, where's my little loop? An AT, I think. And yeah, an AT. And this is it measures. This actually measures 18 inches. I just love this pendant. Love this pendant. Okay, so this is an RT, not an AT. And um, I am going to say for this one, we'll say 15 on this because it is absolutely a stunner. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and yeah, I think we need to, I think somebody needs to have this because that is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then look at this bracelet. Is this not just absolutely beautiful? Um, it is so pretty. I think it's signed. Um, I'm not familiar with this mark. I'm gonna have to look it up, of course. Um, the red and the clear baguettes, just absolutely stunning. So now I gotta look up this mark. It's a mark, oh, it also says China. So I don't think it's anything. Um, the mark on it was, oh, and then there's a V, what's this? with an arrow. Now, I'm just going to say $10 on this. Um, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. Um, but uh, it is, and it's um, it's actually eight inches too. It's a little bit on the longer side. Um, but we'll say 10 for this one. This is so pretty. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. 10. 10, 10, 10 on that one. Just perfect. Um, and then here we have another rhinestone one. This is super pretty. Um, and this one clasps very nicely. That's really pretty. Look at those stones. I really like this one too. Wow, that's super nice. All right, let's check this one out. And this one's seven inches and we're gonna say five for that. All right, here is a gorgeous pair of vintage Coro earrings. Love those. I love this kind of like faux pearl. There is some scratches on that though, shoot. Well, as is, we'll say $3 on those as is. And uh, do I have, I've got a bunch of like mismatched pieces. Um, let me just make sure I don't have anything in my tray. Oh, this one's cute. This is a cute little bracelet. It's on a stretchy, but look at those little ceramic beads and then these are glass that's super cute and we're gonna say we'll say three on that that's just super cute um all 
And I think that is everything. That is all of it for today. That is awesome. So I will have lots more for you on the next video because you know, it's 75 pounds and uh, I'm super excited. And uh, so please join me and don't forget if you liked what you saw, feel free to let me know if you would like to purchase anything. Description, go in the description, all the instructions are there. And, um, and if you liked my content, if you like my content, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Um, it's free. All right. Well, thank you everybody. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye.